Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Dead Cells. I definitely beat that first boss edition. I got so cocky, too, I'm telling you. Got so cocky that I could just that I could just beat beat that boss. But in reality, I have to remember that now I have access to like way better weapons, so I do so much more damage. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I got the teleportation rune in the sewers last episode. So there's these little statues that can now teleport me places, and I can get new rooms. That's the other thing. Once you have more runes, it's way more likely that you'll find items that you really like. But before then, you're, you're kind of stuck a lot of the times with, you know, un undesirable things. Treasure chest! I hate this grenade. I need more grenades. <laughs> If I can... I, I need more, uh... I don't know what you'd call them, like, sub-items. I'm frequently getting things I don't want. Here. Yeah. Huh. New. Going up. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Freeze! <laughs> Much better grenade. Yeah. Ooh! New shield. I really do want to use shields more. I, I just... I, I generally don't use shields. I favor a second weapon. I just want to... I want to change that. Because I know they can be really, really good. They're just a bit harder to use. But there are playthroughs where I have two weapons and I just, like, don't use the second weapon, like, ever. Like, th this bow's not too great. <laughs> I can see a situation where I don't use that a lot. Oh, boy. I just had a crazy sneezing fit. Oh, no! She's dead. And it's recent. Oh, God! Oh, look what I found! Oh, sneezing fit not over, apparently. I think it's still not over. Oh, well, there'll just be a lot of editing. Um, this is not one of my favorite weapons, but this is the character that talks to you at the beginning. And, yeah, she's not okay. Um, oh, I didn't get a broadsword, I got a broadsword print. So I'm not going to get the time gate, it looks like. But, because I really wanted to go to, uh, the sewers. Abandoned ages ago. Oh. Actually, a family of rats place calls this place home nowadays. Secret area found. A variety of differently shaped mushrooms are proliferating in these jars. By the looks of them, they should be, s they should have some kind of psychedelic properties. Good old Dr. Tom must have been supplying the whole prison. Seems like... Seems to be where the mushroomologist shared his profits of his little business. Ooh, I just got a better bow. So this is kind of just like the beginner's bow, except it has, uh, it shoots two shots at once. And it has ten ML instead of six, but since you're shooting two at once, it really just has five shots before it's done. Would be more accurate. Here. But yeah, there's some other secret rooms. Some of them have uh, just items, one use. Some, uh, but they have story, too. There is a story to this game. It's not large. But, uh, you can gleam some of it by looking at the, uh, by looking at rooms like that. Nope. <laughs> Missed. Yeah, I might have just gone to that area that I've gone to before. The issue is that I found absolutely no scrolls. And that's not okay with me at this venture, so where haven't I gone? Oh, there was a scroll right there that I somehow leaped right past. This is the editing on my allergy attack is going to be crazy. Um, I saw that. Okay, I just didn't see it on screen because I remember seeing that cluster of money and I was like, don't have time, run. If only I had a time. <laughs> but, you know. It's fine. Alright, this isn't bringing me closer to anywhere where I wasn't. Not sure how to get over there. Okay, I see. New. Frozen. Okay. We'll use the creeping vines. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, I'm not even, probably not even gonna get the second time to hurt. At eight minutes. There's my goal. Eight dead cells. 
Is that enough to get something good? Alright, I can't get the next health flask until I get some other upgrades, but... We're definitely getting recycling, because now I can sell items for more money. Um, random starter weapons and random starter bows are a good thing to do. Like, it looks like I can't get starter melee weapons until I get one of the other ones. Combo, as pretty much always, <laughs> I like doing more damage. And, like, you get that combo thing, it's almost infinite. Like, you can kill an enemy every 15 seconds in most cases. There might be a few long stretches, but then it's just the first one. Then you just have the combat increase for the rest of it. So, we can ignore the time door, which I'm sure is down there. Oh, no, it's right here. Alright, well. <laughs> Ugh. Definitely not going to miss seeing these regular grenades once I finally get better things, and the chance of them spawning decreases vastly. Yeah. This is a situation where I wish I had my shield, though, because, like, I haven't used... It's like I'm forgetting that I even have a bow. <laughs> oh, God. It's like I have to talk about it in order to remember that I have the damn thing. Woo! Roll! <laughs> I hate that. Those exploded guys are really annoying. You, you. Hey, over here. I saw your fight. It was pretty impressive. Did you... Did you get it? I got it. Excellent. Now give it to me. Hmm. Nah. I said, give it to me! <laughs> I just gave him the finger. I knew it. You're just like all the rest. You'll regret this. I doubt that. Um, he told me about a teleportation rune, but I'm keeping it for myself. However, it wasn't his. He can suck it. He's probably not innocent. Here. Although he might literally be Frankenstein's monster, in which case he is innocent? Right, Frankenstein's monster didn't do anything. He was just accused of doing things because he looked like a monster and was a monster. <laughs> but, you know, not all monsters are bad. Here, I played Undertale. I was actually going to do an Undertale Let's Play, but I stopped when... Um, one, after beating it like four times, I lost my desire to play it even for the... <laughs> I over-prepared for that, let's say. So I was going to do a non-blind one like everyone does it blind. I was going to do a non-blind. But then it was one of the most Let's Played games of all time. Um... I wonder if it was actually the most, R like, Let's Played RPG of all time. It's possible. I remember I looked up the stats. Like, I just typed in Undertale Part 1. And it was ten times the amount of Earthbound. <laughs> and Earthbound, pretty well known among the Let's Play scenes, so... Ooh, Wolf Trap. Better than a Bear Trap? Probably not. Here. But it sounds less common. Uh, it does what you might think. People step into it, and then they can't run at you. They sometimes also take increased damage, like some of them might have stats where uh, they'll take more damage to um, if they're on fire or something like that, so. It's a good item, nice solid, uh, good against bosses, because it can pin them, and then you can use long range on them, so. <laughs> Research notes, it has become increasingly difficult to collect mold samples in these sewers. There are too many reverence more mushrooms. Mushrooms collected from all over the sewer. Alright, <laughs> that's all that was. Just little story beats. If I find the exit soon, it's possible I could get the time gate. But it's not that big. Ooh, should I get two wolf traps? I'd say no. But which one's better? This one is definitely better. And now I can recycle the old one for 10% of its value. For 10% of its value. Wham. Slam, 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 slam the ham. New. <laughs> Don't you be aiming your sharp, pointy fly sticks at me. Um, of the two, I'd rather have tactics. Because I got tactical weapons. Eh. I can't go here, or can I? Nope. I have no idea I'm supposed to get over there, actually. Like, even if I had all the upgrades, I didn't see anything that would let me go there. So, that's a little bit weird. Uh, where am I supposed to go, then? I don't think I can go there. Hmm. 
Alright. Uh, a little bit confused. Alright, I just got, like, extremely, extremely lost, because for some reason I was assuming I couldn't go up here. Because I just saw that there was a jump thing over there before, and I was like, I definitely can't go there, but you have to go here. There was no other direction to go. Uh-oh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Um. I think I like this better than the arrow, but... I didn't even look at what that other thing was. Wow. There's a shop. Nah. <laughs> Although I could take a shield. We'll stick with the throwing knives for a little bit. Or I could go double freeze, but nah. There we go. If I didn't get, like, incredibly, incredibly lost, I could have gotten the time door, but I wasted, like, two minutes. That was incredibly dumb. Uh, ten dead cells, though. Let's put it in gold reserves for now. And I can carry up to 6,000 after I die. And let's do... Let's do necromancy for a bit. I might change that right before the boss fight. Alright. Right. Duck to look cool. Boom. There are other stages that I can go to from the sewers, but it's going to be a while before I unlock those. I think there is another stage I can go from... No, I can't go from the ramparts. Alright, so after the ramparts, I'll be at the boss. That might very well kill me. Due to the fact that I did a bad run and was very slow. <laughs> and my weapons aren't that powerful. It'd be good if I could find a more powerful melee weapon. But I don't know if that's going to happen. At least not... Like, just... Well, he's dead. <laughs> hmm. I should probably explore, like, more thoroughly than I have on this stage. Try to find things. Ow. <laughs> I think it's possible that, like, anything that's caught in the wolf trap takes more damage. Yeah, 25% 20, damage. Okay. So it makes sense to just trap things and wail on them. Oh, there's my time door. 30 seconds to go. Uh, if I had run... No. If I had run right here, I still would have been off by like 10 seconds, I think. Maybe I should have tried it, but usually the time door is a little bit farther than that. Dead. Alright. And down we go. There we are. That's why I'm trying to be thorough. I haven't gotten enough of these due to my lack of time doorage. Also, I could... No, I don't have the weapons for it. I was going to say I could, like, try to start going, um... Um... Okay, I'll take this, I think. Yeah. Actually, it might have less DPS. Yeah, never mind. I don't think I will take this. I think I'll have a better time against the boss with my, my twin blades. So that's unfortunate. Also, I should have taken the teleporter because it was down there, but... <laughs> Oh no, that wasn't a teleporter. That's a, on the map. That's a that's the treasure that I just got. Ha! Ah, you're both trapped now, losers. You thought he was gonna be slick and jump backwards, but yeah, it, you might not have noticed, but it drops two uh, wolf traps, not one. Can't go there yet. I, it took me a really long time to get the ability that lets you break those down there, so it could be a while. Yeah. No. Waste of time. Moving on. Woo! Alright. Um. No, let's... Also, I got the thing that it, it heals me anytime I kill an enemy. If I keep on leveling up survival, it'll heal more and more HP for me. Which is nice. Yeah. I just tried to use a shield I didn't have. <laughs> also, I'm gonna need to remember to use... Ooh! I gotta remember to use the knives on the boss, the throwing knives, because it'll, it'll create bleed. And... Anything I can do that boss from a distance, man. Oh my god, it's, a, it's an elite inquisitor. Dangerous. Um, he's gonna start summoning stuff in a bit, probably, but I need to clear the way. Crap. Alright, heal. Boom! Alright, critical hit at him. Alright, downward smash makes flames. I like that. And when I dodge, I'll make a bomb. Plus, of course, 10% percent 
less damage from everything. So that was a good one. Quite glad I went there and quite glad that I uh, defeated him. Also, like, he teleports around if, if you run away because he's an elite. They all do that once they get powerful enough. Ah, let's do this once for the health. Um, but uh, the the wolf trap made him, so I don't think he can do that. I think I, I think you might actually be able to pin an elite and leave if you have him in a wolf trap, but I don't know. I haven't really tested that. I don't really use the wolf trap too much. I don't remember finding it too many times. But unless you have, like, a long-range build that's not as good, it's still good because of the damage increase even from melee, but... Ow. That jerk. Oh, God. Oh, dear. <laughs> I kind of, like... Sometimes I panic and just use all of my my uh, secondary weapons. Like, uh. And so I, I hit the shield guy with the freeze. He blocked it, so it did nothing. But since I panicked... Uh-oh. New. Ha! Um, since I panicked, I also got him with a wolf trap, which actually did help. Support! I think... No, I don't quite remember what that mutation does. I know it's a tactics. It has something to do with long range, uh... Oh, I should probably... Hey, none of that. How are you able to fly when you're frozen like that, cheater? Here. I have a feeling the exit's here. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, the exit's here. Am I ready? Probably not. But we're doing it anyway. Okay. Um, ooh, look at that. So, when I die at this boss... <laughs> If I die, like, I think I'm just going to do a run where I just come right back to the boss. Maybe I'll do highlights showing what I'm getting. Let's get the... Ugh. Yeah, let's get the health. Alright. Let's see if I can do this. Like, if I if I had a really good long-range weapon, this would be a better build, but... I need to be a little bit closer than that. Alright, my blades do do a lot. Also, I should have done this the entire time. Because that'll do more damage to him total. Ugh. It's that third hit, man. Woo! Uh-oh. Not the right side that I want to be on. Ooh, so something's giving him the oil effect. The oil effect increases uh, fire damage. Is it my trap? Alright, let me just see. What's giving him the oil? Ah, it's the wolf trap. Okay. <laughs> Bleed! Ugh. Oh, I rolled into him. There we go. That time wasn't a panic. <laughs> I wanted to freeze and trap him. Uh-oh. Ugh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Take that. You're stupid leaping. Whee! <laughs> he hit the other one. Yeah, I guess I can just trap him forever at this rate. Yeah, just walk forward a little bit. It's fine. A little bit more. There we go. <laughs> That's exactly as forward as I wanted you to walk. Oh, God. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Wolf Trap's great against this boss because it neutralizes his leap. What? Just later on, you can do so much more damage to him because you'll have better weapons. But, yeah, it's really a, it's, it's an attrition battle a lot of the times when you have weak weapons. 
Ha <laughs> ha! Midair! Oh my god. Oh my god! Alright. Whew. You know, I think I'm just gonna have to be really, really patient and and just not not approach him too much. He says as he approaches him. <laughs> there. Ooh. There we are. <laughs> How you like it? Not very much. Too bad. But yeah, no more healers. I, I can't screw up. Hey, he broke out! What a cheater! Here. Says the guy fighting with wolf traps. That kind of doesn't seem that honorable, but hey. Still cheating. He's fighting with magical uh, fire, though, so... A and a magical damage field? Like, how is that not? That's not, that's not very honorable. Here. <laughs> Damn it, damn it, damn it! He's gonna get me again. Ugh. Like, it's just taking so long to kill him. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't... I thought he was trapped, and he wasn't. I can't believe I can't beat this guy. I'm just so used to beating him. This is insane. Alright, I am beating him this episode, so I will see you back there. I will show you highlights of what I get on the way. But holy crap. Ooh. First time I think I've showed using one of the teleport runes. Oh god. There. That mean- I'm not going to like a new level, am I? I don't think so. I think this is just an area that I wasn't able to- yeah, just a store. Um, ooh, alright. I got a plan. I'm doing a build specifically to beat the boss right now. And it's a tactics build. I think it'll... Like, if I'm gonna get to a state where I know it's way too dangerous to get to him anyway... And I, I'm doing pretty well, because this is an okay bow, right? Yeah, it's, it's not the best, but it's okay. Um, then I got a thing to, to, like, make it so that he can't move. And then I can use this so that he gets damaged even more. I also have the blood sword. Which I don't like that much because it doesn't, like, stun as well as a lot of the other swords, but... You slice someone with it, they bleed. So that's a thing. Um... Ooh. Which one of these is better? Uh... Okay, my current Sinew Slicer is actually better than that Sinew Slicer. And this bow is... It has a trait and the other one doesn't, so... Recycled. Woo! Bleed! Let me just show you. Slice, slice, and he's bleeding. <laughs> and then he died. Also, I think that I think it might burn the victim, too. So I think if I kill someone, the fire starts. Yeah. So, after I kill someone, there's a fire trail, so that's also good. This is good. I feel good about this, but I still have another level to go through, so... A whole lot of prisoners are piled up here. Some of them have been here for a very long time. One of them is holding something. I don't think this will be as good, but, uh, it's another one of those areas. Also, should I? Yeah. I should. Really need to get rid of these damn birds, though. Here. Yeah! Frontline shield. I'm really just getting this so that I can get closer to being able to unlock the next health flask. And let's do... What's a cheaper one that's actually useful? Let's get the broadsword. It definitely has its uses. I'm just bad with it. And I don't actually want this. <laughs> Sorry, frontline shield. Um, efficiency... Let's do ammo if I'm really trying to do a long range, but I've never gotten this ability before, by the way. Oh my god, it shoots a it shoots a trail of fire, I didn't even realize. That's amazing, I can shoot so many. Yeah, that boss is doomed. I'm just gonna not go anywhere near him. And I'm pretty confident this time. I'm pretty confident. 
And what was I getting? Broadsword? I'm not gonna... Whatever. I'm sure I'll find a broadsword randomly. Um, let me just show it. I don't want it for this, but... You see how slow it goes? Like, you can easily get hit, like, in the time that it takes you to do that. But, we'll see. I'll use it eventually. I think... Maybe I should... Whatever. No, no, no. Don't deviate from the plan. Let's not do anything that's gonna, like, encourage me to, to try different things. <laughs> Get... Yeah, let's get rid of that right now. Um... I need... One more upgrade before I can get the one I want. Let's do the phaser. Alright. And for this... I don't need combo right now, so let's do all... Let's see what, what'll actually help me. So we want efficiency, because that'll help my other two skills. We'll do ammo, and we'll do dead inside to give me more health. Alright, this entire run has been focused on just leveling up so that I can safely dispose of that damn boss. I'll be patient. It doesn't matter how... No, I know I won't. I know eventually I'm always going to want to sneak in a few melee hits. But we'll see what happens. Alright, buddy. Although it is, it is a lot safer to sneak in melee hits at the beginning. But I, I think I'm already doing a lot more damage than I was previously. Plus, it, it makes sense to sneak in melee hits when you've run out of ammunition. Which is gonna happen periodically. Here. Oh, also, alright, so I killed an elite. Um... The Elite let me uh, spread oil when I do my slam attack, so that actually... There's a lot of uh, synergy with this build right now, actually. There, oil. That makes fire... I think it just makes it more powerful. It might make it last longer. I've always been a little bit confused by that. Here. Here. Ah. Fire still got me. Roll. <laughs> Deal with it. Here. Alright, I've gotten him down to half. I still got both of my heals. Good. Oil fire! What's nice is uh, he tries to jump and then he just hits the second wolf trap. <laughs> yeah! Here. Yeah. Wolf trap. He's not gonna set the second wolf trap because it's over there. So I gotta remember that I'm not safe. Except I up. It was a trick. I told him I wasn't safe and he believed me. Woo! Yeah. Roll. <laughs> There's like nowhere safe for him to walk here. Whoa! Actually surprised that one didn't hit me. Alright. We're doing it. Still got an entire heal left. Woo! <laughs> Snuck a slice in there. Huh. Wait for my ammo ammunition to come back a little bit. There we are. Oh my god, no, no, no! No, 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 no! Woo! <laughs> that would have been terrible. Ah! Die! Oh, I did it. Oh my god. 
I, it's just so easy to beat the boss now. I, like, I can't believe how hard it is <laughs> when you don't have the proper things. Heavy crossbow blueprint acquired. Also, it looks like I got a much more powerful sinew slicer. It does almost double the damage. Does way... Oh, wow. This thing's incredible. Alright, well, we're taking that moving forward. And it looks like I also have a rune. Alright, Challenger's Rune. This permanent rune provides access to the daily challenges. Daily challenges are somewhat important due to the fact that they give access to new weapons. I think three new weapons. Uh, the first one, though, is my favorite one. The last one, I don't Maybe it's good. I haven't really used it. I just unlocked it recently. It takes like 16 days to unlock it. Hiya, yeah, short stuff. You made it this far alive, eh? Well, you know what I mean. I'm the blacksmith. I work with the collector next door. So you've got cells. I can improve your gear. So if you give cells to this guy every hundred, it will increase the probability of you getting a plus quality one, which is just better. Also, there is a time door in here. I think it looks like it's at 14 minutes. And what's nice is um, these dead cells I can use like right away. Because I got them in the blacksmith. Um... Root Grenade. Not my favorite, but it's basically like a wolf trap, just less good. It just re re uh, generates a lot faster. Um, hmm, I need one more unlock, so what was I doing? Phaser. Alright. Um, I think I might want this just to show it. Whatever, I beat the boss, I'm happy. If something horrible happens, whatever. Whee! <laughs> I just used it, but it doesn't do anything when there's no enemies. Alright, so now, this is gonna cost tons of dead cells, but it's absolutely worth working on. Alright, um... Do I want to move away from my long-range thing? I do at least want combo back. Uh... And I want this. What else would I take, really? I mean, I have a tactics build, but it's not like an extreme tactics build. It's only 5 versus 3. Ah, uh, for now, I, I like my extra ammo. I guess I'll be keeping it. Why well, switch it up now? So, new stage I haven't been to before. The Silt's Village. It's actually a pretty good stage. The, um, the time door is incredibly easy to find because there's a door with a time, time door symbol on it. Uh, but it has these, these guys. These guys can be a problem if you're not careful. <laughs> Wow, he's bleeding so much. Yeah. Woo! Alright, there's the time door. You might not have seen the symbol, because I was running away from enemies at the time. Research notebook. The treatment administered in their lateness volunteers seems to be producing results. They are still coughing, but they are vomiting much less. Or less blood, in any case. Am I on the right track? So it looks like there was a crazy disease, and certain scientists were trying to fix it. This stain here. Is it more urine or a bile color? Probably a mixture of both. <laughs> Lovely. A flask. Concentrated essence of something. Eight times a day. More if the subject vomits. Resuscitate if necessary. Note any signs of improvement in the register. Yeah, they're doing some crazy stuff here. Most of the interesting books and products seem to have been pillaged already. I don't think there's any point in looking at the prisoner's quarters for books. Although that's probably an unfair stereotype. <laughs> but just between us, these guys aren't exactly the sharpest tools in the shed. Alright, time door. I've gotten all the time doors, so that's very nice. All four of them. That's quite the power boost. Um, Let's do brutality because I want more weapon damage. And because it actually had the most HP damage, so... H HP damage? HP increase. Oh, good! So these guys are not regular zombies. When you kill them, they explode into little worm things. And the little worm things teleport after you, so... They're quite the enemy. <laughs> Variety of issues with them. So the phaser, yeah, I haven't really been using it too much. But it teleports behind an enemy. And then your next attack, I believe, does more damage. It's pretty good. So this stage... Oh, and it is a little... <laughs> this stage, uh, 
Oh, God. Has a variety of doors that you can go into, just like I went to get to the time door. It That leads you to other places, and they are marked, which is interesting. So, Eric, you'll notice a pattern with, like, the ram cards. They have sections that you can go down, but you don't know if they have, like, a shop or a treasure chest or nothing. Um... The weird part about this one is it tells you what's in the equivalent of the Ramparts uh, downward sections. So if I find a door, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Should I defeat him? I already do have a trinket, but if I'm a jerk, I could probably defeat him pretty easily. Alright, now he's going to teleport to me, though. I just can't do that. Here. That is... Whatever. Wherever it lands, that's where I'll fight him. <laughs> All right, let's see if the thing he gave me is better. Um, extra midair jump, and wow, all right, that is better. Plus, it gives me uh, the equivalent of two scrolls, so less damage. Um, I can jump three times, even though I, I never remember when I have that. So this is a shop. You see how there's a, a gold coin? That's the shop symbol. Yeah. So I'm just gonna skip that. Actually, no. What if there's a melee weapon? Yeah. Um, alright. Well, there's a Sinew Slicer, but there's no way it's better than the one that I have. So. Also, all the doors at the end, you can teleport back to the entrance, so sometimes they're really short like that, and you don't need to, but... It's a nice little development thing they did, so you don't have to backtrack. Very considerate. Surprise! Bet you thought I was done with you. That one's also a shop. Ooh! A croissant. Oh, that attack, man. Really dangerous. This entire place is really dangerous right now. Good God. All right. It's like a million worms. Let me. Maybe the shop's right at the beginning, like the other one. Yep. Oh, this is a this is a heel shop. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> this is a long stage. So yeah, he's a chef. I forgot that they had those in these games. And I have quite the bit of dead cells. It would be nice if I could finish the stage. Whee! Ooh. He dropped a, um, magnet grenade. I thought I had to unlock these. Interesting. Well, that's good for a long-range build. Yeah, it sucks people towards them, or towards it. Uh, let's just move on a little bit. I don't want to mess around with that. All right, so I can't... Basically, this level has two key doors. You'll see a door, it'll have a key next to it. You need to go into those to proceed. And if you do that, you'll be at the end of the level. So you can skip all the doors except for those two. Brutality. Magnets. <laughs> I can't... I really haven't screwed around with long range too much. I, I like getting in there, but I don't have the weapons for that right now. At the beginning, I gotta say, long range is like unequivocally better. There's the key door. So I gotta snake around to that. <laughs> I didn't know it hurt him through the wall. That's pretty cool. Here. All right. Obviously, I need to get out there to get that rune or also or the scroll, but we'll deal with that later. Ha <laughs> ha! You dumb pirate. Village key one. Doesn't say one, but there is another one, so. Alright, now the issue of getting up there. No, I gotta be able to get there somehow. That's still going up. Urgh. Oh my god, almost died. Holy crap. So I got hit by the exploding cannonball and the exploding what's his face at the same time. I don't know if I can get out here. There's a rune where I could break the floor there that I don't have. And then there's, uh, something that lets me get up here that I don't have. Wait, I... Oh my god, I have triple double jump. That's the only reason I could go there. <laughs> uh, more health, please. And if I could... I think I could have gotten up there, so I could have just jumped the other direction. All right. So that makes sense. That's good. I was about to leave, too, and I could have just gone there. But I'm glad I had tri triple double jump, so... Tri triple jumper jump. God, this gr magnet grenade's amazing. I really thought you had to unlock it, though. It's kind of confusing. Oh, there's the second key door. Didn't have to look for it. 
Yeah. All right, they can still attack you when affected by it, but it looks like they're definitely their attacks are disrupted a little bit. Uh, I am injured though. I can't get hit by like a exploding double barrel explode gun like that behind me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this place is so deadly. I got to like, I, I wasn't expecting all that. I think I'm almost to the end of the stage, though. We're just going to keep on ninja running over. Boom! End of the stage. Goodbye. Farewell. Oh, the clock tower is freaking rough, though. Ooh. Ew. I'm tempted to stop the episode here. In fact, I might. I have 50 dead cells. Oh, my. Oh, me, oh, my. Is there anything I want? Hmm... Critical hits at close range. That's a weird one. It's like a close range ma or ranged weapon. I guess it makes sense if you have a brutality build. Ooh, that's like my favorite crossbow. I really should be working towards this, though. But we're getting my favorite crossbow anywhere. This is a shotgun. It is the best way to describe this thing. <laughs> Boom! It does incredible amounts of damage because it hits people with five arrows at once. <laughs> Screw you, door. I am actually going to spend the rest of the dead cells, though. Excellent. I never need ammo for this thing, though. Oh, hey, you there. I work for the blacksmith. I can patch up your gear for cheap. I'm not really supposed to be here, though, you know. Let's just keep it between us. All right, come on. How much have you got on you? Um, I'll explain this next time. It's probably kind of obvious what it does, though, if you just look at it. But uh, I am Cross Knights. On the next episode, I am going to proceed with the Clock Tower, which is not one of my favorite stages just because it's so long, and it's possible that I'll just start it and immediately die because the enemies don't mess around. I have 2,700 HP, though, starting, starting from the modest beginnings of uh, 100. It's pretty great, because I found a ton of scrolls this time, so I have a good chance of getting through. But with only two healing flasks, much less so. This stage can be a little bit difficult when you have three, so... Anyway, I'll see you then. Hope you like watching this. And I'll see you next time as my undead face goes through this ever-changing horror dungeon. Later!